been watching my series of bootleg Sega Mega Drive games, then you've probably seen our look at VR Fighter vs Taken 2, and you're probably wondering where at least one half of this game was half hinged from. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is Virtual Fighter 2 for the Sega Mega Drive? Yep, for some reason, late in the Mega Drive's lifespan in 1996-97, Sega decided to bring us a 2D version of their very popular fighting game franchise from the arcade on the Sega Saturn. At the time, more people in 1996 probably had a Mega Drive than a Saturn anyway, and certainly more people had a Mega Drive than that rancid black mushroom, the 32X. And if that thing can get its own virtual fighter game, then why the hell can't the Mega Drive as well, right? Naturally, this is a sprite-based 2D version of the popular fighting game, as the Anthony Polygons to be found here, matey. Which is just as well, because I personally thought that Virtual Racing on the Mega Drive was a right old mess. We might be missing a few characters here on this version, but given the hardware limitations, this is actually quite impressive. And AM2 should be applauded at least for cracking out a pretty decent version. It can't have been that easy, squeezing a 32-bit 3D fighting game into a 16-bit 2D version. Although you will no doubt prefer the other versions of this game, this Mega Drive version is actually better than you might expect. It's quick and responsive, it does a good job, and it's as complete a fighting game as any that you'll find on the Mega Drive. There's a lot of detail in the character sprites and in the backgrounds, and at least a decent attempt is made with making some of the music tracks sound like a good 16-bit rendition of the tunes you may know or love from the arcade and the Saturn. Some of the voices are rather garbled, but that's something you kind of expect from the Sega Mega Drive anyway. In terms of gameplay at least, it's nearly identical to its Saturn and Arcade Big Brothers. In short, it's far, far better than I expected it to be. I won't say that it's an essential addition to your Mega Drive collection. It's nothing remarkable, it's more of a curiosity than anything. It's almost like, what, really? They actually made Virtual Fighter 2 on the Mega Drive. It's like when Super Nintendo had their own version of Street Fighter Alpha 2. It was a severely scaled down version of the game that you'd likely played already on a much more powerful games console, but the curiosity was there that, that it was even ported over to a 16-bit machine in its twilight years in the first place. For some reason, this game isn't included in the Ultimate Mega Drive collection for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. However, for those of you that still have a PS2 or an original Xbox, you can find this version of Virtua Fighter 2 in the Mega Drive collection for that particular console. I also believe you can find it on Steam, and it's also on countless versions of those portable Mega Drive pl plug and play things as well. If you've got this game already on one of its more meatier 3D incarnations, then you don't really need to go out of your way to get this one as well. But having said that, Virtua Fighter 2 on the Sega Mega Drive is worth a sideways thumb at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> 